Good afternoon. I'm Brad Edwards. Right now, a maroon SUV captured on camera over and over again, but the carjackers inside still on the loose after a very busy night. CBS 2 Suzanne Lemonio live in Bucktown with a, a warning about the crew behind a speedy crime spree. Suzanne. Brad, you know, right here on this block, there was an attempted carjacking last night. It was one of four incidents that took place, and listen to this, just two hours and 40 minutes here in the 14th Police District. Now, the police say there's one thing in common when it comes to all four of these incidents, the maroon-colored SUV that you're about to see. A woman pulls up on the 1900 block of West Wabansia in this white SUV. It's about 11 minutes after 8 o'clock last night here in Bucktown. Seconds later, this maroon-colored SUV with several men inside pulls out of the alley and heads east down Wabansia, then slowly backs up. You can see the taillights of the maroon SUV after it pulls up next to the woman in the white SUV off camera. Next, you hear a male voice say, Unlock. most likely telling the woman to unlock her phone. Police say her phone and purse were taken. About 45 minutes later, on the 2100 block of West Moffat, the same maroon SUV is captured on at least two nest cameras. First, backing down the street, then driving in the right direction on Moffat. Police say moments after this, a woman in a 2017 Mazda truck was carjacked. Her purse and cell phone were also taken. These are just two of the four carjackings and armed robberies that happened in the 14th Police District last night. On the 1900 block of North Honoré, police say the same men tried to take a 2010 Chevy Traverse from a man. On the 1700 block of West Lemoyne, police say the men took a victim's bag and wallet, forced her out of her SUV, then drove off in her 2016 Nissan Rogue. Now, police say that these suspects have actually ordered the victims out of their SUVs at gunpoint. They've also been demanding the PIN numbers for all of the debit cards that they may encounter, along with the cell phones they take. In Bucktown, Suzanne Lemonyo, CBS 2 News. And you can now track carjackings in Chicago in real time. Just scan the QR code at the bottom of your screen. It will take you to the carjacking tracker page on our website. You can see a map of where the most recent carjackings happened. You can also see how many carjackings have been reported in your neighborhood since January and how that compares to last year.